Russia's S-400 is a disgrace in Syria, says Brigadier General Abdalrahim Musavi. Introduction Tensions are escalating between Iran and Israel. Israel has said it had destroyed nearly all of Iran's military capabilities in Syria. It was reportedly retaliation for an Iranian missile attack on the Golan Heights. Israel renews its bombardment of the Syrian Latakia port. Israel has routinely carried out airstrikes on Syria since the civil war began in 2011, mostly targeting Syrian government troops, allied Iran-backed forces and Hezbollah fighters. Iran finances, arms, and commands many Syrian and foreign militia groups fighting alongside the regular armed forces, including fighters from Hezbollah in Lebanon. Israel Defeat S-400 the S-400 Triumph system can fire several interceptor missiles capable of intercepting low-altitude to high-altitude missile, aircraft, ballistic missiles, and UAVs. The S-400 supports four different missiles, the Very Long Range 40 and 60 series, 400 km, the Long Range 48 and 6, 250 km, the 9M96 E2, 120 km, and the Short Range 9M96 E, 40 km. The missile is reportedly capable of exoatmospheric interception of intermediate-range ballistic missile warheads in their terminal phase. The Israeli Air Force's F-35, Ayadir not only flew 200 kilometers inside Syrian airspace to bomb Iran-backed militant groups. The F-35 Ayadir and F-16 have been flying over Syrian territory covered by so-called stealth killer S-400 SAM advertised, spread propaganda brochures and sold to Turkey, Algeria. China and India, turn out to be another lame duck missile system manufactured by Almazanti. The S-400 brochures say it can detect and engage interceptor missiles to a stealth fighter jet, however, so far, S-400 has proved to be useless against stealth technology. The recent bombing by Israeli F-16 fighter jet over Latakia port proves that S-400 SAM's radar can be deceived and jammed by Rafael Sky Shield electronic warfare. S-400 SAM is a disgrace. Speaking to Erna in an interview published on Sunday, Brigadier General Kumar's Haidari said they do not trust the Russian S-400 against Israeli F-16 and F-35 fighter jets. Russian S-300 and S-400 are disgraced in Syria. Syrian Latakia port is protected by layers of air defense systems, including S-400 and Pantsir S-1. Armed forces take advantage of domestic equipment, techniques and tactics, Haidari said, the S-400 is a foolish surface-to-air missile. Despite the protection of the Russian air defense system, Israeli warplanes launched devastating airstrikes early on Tuesday targeting the Syrian port of Latakia, destroying weapons and ammunition storage depots operated by Iran, reports Al Jazeera News. Israeli airstrikes against targets in Syria may be one of the main reasons for the growing crisis between Russia and Turkey. They're highlighting the Russian-made S-400 air defense systems may not be as effective as Turkey believed. In August, Iran unveiled a long-range surface-to-air missile system, dubbed Bavar-373, saying the missile system is Russian counterpart S-300. Haidari said Hezbollah operatives may have trained on Iran's Bavar-373. Touted more advanced than S-300 by Haidari, however, an Israeli F-16 fighter jet successfully penetrated Syrian airspace protected by Bavar-373 and destroyed a missile launcher of Bavar-373 reported Global Defense Corporation. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.